I know what you're thinking, and you're not seeing a ghost. I'm back with another YouTube video. Let's go. So as anyone that knows, that follows me, I've been absent without leave from YouTube for six, seven months now, busy with home life. New baby in the house, just turned one, just had no time to do my videos, but I have had time to pick up a lot of shoes. So we got a lot of shoes down here. So let's get to it. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, you might not know that I've become quite the New Balance head over the last year. Like I had six to eight New Balance before, but the count has gone up crazy. So expect to see some pairs you wouldn't expect to see from me within this video. But anywho, number 21, we have the Reebok Times Bodega Club C. Um, this pair is a super clean, super premium. Gives you that sort of Cactus Jack vibes with the brown, the off-white midsole. Bodega smashed it and this material is absolutely butter. Feels like my finger's gonna go through it, it's that soft. But yeah, number 21. You know, number 20 is a bit of a slept on pair from Kith that came out earlier in this year. It is the Kith Times New Balance RC 1300. Crazy details on the New Balance logo there. Little NB there. That was sure it's got a Pegasus on it. Came in three colorways. This was the favorite of mine. I think this the model wasn't hitting for a lot of people, which is why it um, hung around so long with like an easy cop. But I'm very happy to have it in at number 20 on my list. Number 19 on my list is another New Balance collaboration, this time with Levi's, and it is the 990 V3. They absolutely smashed these. The denim hits, absolutely crazy. I got these for retail, but the price went crazy down recently. They came out on their website, on their app, with a sales like 50% off, so people got these for the low, and they, um, they're winning, uh, they're, they're winning. In at number 18, another New Balance collaboration, this time with DTLR. In my favorite new balance model which is the new balance 992 it was the pair that i was going to sleep on originally then my boy tom picked them up and it kind of convinced me yeah i need these new balance gray with some red and blue hits it has got these crazy wacky yellow laces in there they do come with white and gray i think the white might look best if these i'll eventually swap them out but yeah a little bit low on my list perhaps but yeah, here's what it is. <laughs> Jordan 1, a Manny, yeah. Um, we talked about this on my podcast. First of all, Half Size Up podcast. Check it out, Spotify, um, Apple Podcasts, all the podcasts and apps, me and my two guys. But yeah, we spoke about the podcast and I said, how many parts of the shoe do I really love? And when I thought about it, it wasn't actually that many. Like, I don't hate the shoe at all. I think it's cool, but nah, it's not the most amazing Jordan 1. It's actually been a pretty poor year for Jordan 1s and yeah, this one made the list there. In at number 16, maybe a little bit too low, but it is what it is. It is the Salehi Bembry 2002R Water Be The Guide. You had an orange pair that came out last year that I totally slept on. I thought it was too wacky and I ended up picking up an even more wackier pair this year. But these pink kits sort of sold me on it, to be honest, with the laces. And these are a major, major head turner. Super light shoe, one of the basic sort of new balance that came out but absolutely fire in my opinion in at number 15 another slept on new balance pair it is boom the 992 my favorite model uh, j crew collaboration wicked colorway with the navy hits the brown and pop of color with the orange um i wish it had j crew branding on it feels like these were a store exclusive rather than like a exclusive collaboration but still fire in my opinion in at number 15 in at number 14, a bit of a hard to come by shoe. Like in the UK, I don't think they even came out. They were exclusively released in Asphalt Gold in uh, Germany. I actually picked this up in Italy, but yeah. It is the New Balance 992 uh, Maroon or Burgundy, whatever you want to call it. It's a GR colorway, but absolutely fire, absolutely buttery. Every time I see this picture of the shoe pop up on my IG feed, I'm like, praise the Lord that I've got these absolute fire in at number 13 maybe a little bit too low maybe but here's what it is air max one aqua noise patter collaboration they smashed it the wave they've released four pairs all of them have been good to be honest this one i originally thought was going to be my favorite but it ended up not being 
but still absolutely fire shoe. Glad to have it, glad to have it on the list. In at number 12, this pair took forever to come. Not surprising because it's an ALD pair, but it is New Balance 993 Beef and Broccoli. Um, super fire shoe. This one does, she actually does have ALD branding on the back. Shout out to Teddy for that. Uh, the military sort of green hit, super fire, the brown all over, autumn, full vibes. A lot of people didn't like the black midsole on the shoe. I don't mind it. I actually can't think what else they could have used. That would have worked, to be honest, but I got it and I like it. In at number 11, um, I actually forgot the shoe came out this year. So luckily when I was searching through my pickups, what actually came out this year, this was on there. And it is another collaboration with Todd Snyder. And it is the New Balance 992 Duck Camo. Again, crazy hits like who would have thought to put pink hits on this shoe and the duck camo done in canvas just super fire the overall package absolutely fire but just missing out on the top 10 so let's get to the top 10 let's get to it at number 10 was my first um 990 v3 pickup yes another new balance and it is a collaboration with bodega um this was a shoe that i was like a lot of people were hyping it online kind of thing so I was like, mm, let me check it out. When I got it in hand, I was like, yeah, thank you, thank, thank, thank God that I actually copped these because they're just absolutely amazing on foot, super comfortable, just look dope. Dad vibes, I'm a dad now. It just all makes sense, you know. I didn't think about that, the new balance, yeah. Maybe that's why I'm into it. <laughs> but yeah, number 10, bodegas. Now, number nine, I was actually debating between the bodegas and this pair, which one was going to be 10, which one was going to be nine. But I wonder if this pair has number nine, and it is the new balance 990 v4 jown they don't actually come with these cream laces i just put them in to test them out and it is what it is you know this one has jowned at the back a lot of people weren't feeling these as much because they weren't as nice as the 992s that came out last year 992s are special very special compared to these but still in my opinion absolutely fire shoe all over navy navy is not normally a color that i'm super duper into but it's so dark that it almost comes black and yeah very cool shoe. Number eight, um, bit of a sad one, I guess, because this is the last shoe that Virgil made, and it is the Jordan 2 Off-White in the white and red OG sort of colorway. Absolutely crazy what he's done with this pair, like, absolutely mad. Super sad what happened to the dude himself, to think he was going through all that madness in his life, and he was bringing out all this stuff and working so hard. Absolutely crazy, RIP to a legend for sure. Uh, not to plug my podcast again, but we did a whole episode on Virgil and worth checking out if you haven't seen it. Uh, link in the bio to all of that stuff, but yeah. Right, shoe, RIP. In at seven, it is another New Balance collaboration with one of the most popular models that came out. Um, one of the most popular models this year in general. It is the 550 times ALD in the green yellow colorway. I love the crackling of leather on the um, New Balance logo there. The off-white midsole, the shoe is a super clean, super fire. One of my co-hosts on my podcast, Dean Still, absolutely loves this shoe to bits and he beat it to death. Glad to see mine when it's still fresh and clean. Um, but yeah, this would have been a nice shoe to double up on. I wish I knew at the time I would have got more people to enter for me, but absolutely fire. Just missing out on the top five. So then a lot of people's top three maybe, but it is, we're riding the wave again. The Monarch A Max 1 uh, times Pata. This is the first colorway we saw. I was like, what are they doing with this wave thing? But it works, man. Absolutely works. I thought the shoe was white when it's actually gray. And I was like, whoa, kind of blew me away when I saw it, but absolutely fire shoe. But just missing out on the top five. Now, number five. Um, this guy, he's had like a top five shoe in the last two years, to be fair. Shout out to Joe Fresh Goods. This time with the 990 V3 outside clothes pair. Just look at the colors, that blue pops like mad. It's got three different kind of beiges on it. It's got green on it. It's just a mad shoe, but super fire and absolutely comfortable as heck. He actually smashed this in at number five. Joe Fresh Goods, 990 V3. In at number four, as I said before, it's been a pretty poor year for Jordan 1s. Like, I'm a big Jordan 1 fan, as you can see here, but it's not been amazing. But the pairs that have been amazing, or the two pairs that have been amazing, 
have been very amazing. And the neutral greys had to make my list. A pair that I've been waiting for for ages. The fact they brought it back in 85. Poof, super duper clean. I think this is one of the few videos that uh, shoes actually reviewed this year. And um, yeah, what can I say about this shoe? Like first time we've really had to have a chance to buy it, to be honest, in like my lifetime. So very happy to have this absolutely fire pair. And at number three is a pair that I forgot came out this year because it came out earlier in Paris only, then released again later in the year when I was shocked that it came out again. I was super happy because it was going for a lot of money in resale originally. But anywho, it's a collaboration between Paperboy and New Balance. It's the 992. And yeah, it's egg themed. <laughs> if you're wondering why there's random yellow hits, it's to do with an egg. But yeah, super fire shoe easily in my top three one of my favorites 902s is just an uh, amazing model and yeah they smashed this pair if i was doing a pair a, a, um, a video on 2021 pickups it wouldn't be like one of my top three new balance because there's been better pairs like i picked up the jowns this year but for this year's releases absolutely spectacular in at number two this may surprise people that it's number two but it is what it is and for some reason I always get my number one mixed up like every time I look at my old videos I'm like why did I put that as number one I hardly ever wear that shoe but it is what it is but anywho number two a Mar Manier threes it had to be so not to plug my podcast again but on my podcast like about two three weeks before these came out we do a segment called cop or no take my dough or leave my leave it bro i was gonna say cop or drop circle that's all take my dough or leave it bro so this is one of the pairs that i mentioned like one of my five shoes and it was the first time i'd seen it like i was just googling like shoes that were coming out and these were coming out and i was like oh this is a pair that i am going to need absolutely but i was surprised at how many people liked it like i hadn't didn't really see it being like people's shoe of the year and a lot of people's favorite shoe this year because Jordan 3, especially in the UK, people don't seem to wear them that much or care that much about them. So I was kind of shocked at how it sort of took over things. But in my mind, very worthy. Um, it's super special, man. Women's exclusive, but luckily in extended sizes, although I was able to fit into um, the women's sizes. So good for me. But yeah, number two, very special shoe. So I know you're all wondering, looking at what came out, what could be number one? Is it the Travis Scott frags? Did cop those, highs or lows, didn't cop those. Um, I can't think what else it could, you could think it would be. What was major that came out? Um, trophy rooms, obviously not. Marcus Jordan, back door. But anywho, this is a pair that probably only my boy Tom T. Raw and Mikey Mike and Kicks maybe would assume that I'd put number one. And it is collaboration between New Balance, yes, New Balance number one, Nice Kicks and Amoeba Music on the 992 and yeah this is it right here yellow gray they come with this is how it comes these teal laces you can see where it says the music in the back in teal my favorite shoe of the year um if you saw my new balance um shoe, i can't remember if i did it in order now no i don't think i actually did it in order to be fair so you might not have known that but yeah man my favorite shoe this year as i said i always end up regretting what i pick my favorite shoe is but i don't think i'm gonna regret this one because this is easily one of my favorite um new balance pairs in general let alone this year only so worthy winner surprising winner not on anyone's list even like the new balance heads i haven't seen on anyone's it's like a forgotten shoe or maybe people just went into it but i was very much into it and yeah end of my video Hopefully you enjoyed me back on YouTube and all that. Hopefully I'll be making more videos in 2022. It's just hard. I come back from work. Like I see my kid there. It's like I can't run upstairs and make a video. I've got to hang out with him for a bit, you know. So I don't get to do it as much, but I will try and get it done. And also my sneaker room is an absolute mess. If I pan the camera that way, you'll see stacks of stuff that shouldn't be here. But it's taken over my room. Like having a kid, all the stuff that was in his room is now up here. It's just it is what it is but anywho thanks for tuning in um like comment subscribe definitely check out the podcast half size up podcast we release generally every week unless something comes up it's on all the um, apps and i have it down below as well to check out i'm out let y'all have a good 2022